So today I wanted to show you one of the best tools you could ever have for Makita battery repair. It is just released and it's designed as a prototype by a Finnish programmer called Martin. And it's called the Nan Ubi. I put the sticker here to remember what it's called. And it connects to a Makita battery, 18 volt system, and it can reset the error flags. And in many of the cases it can get your battery working again. It's not a universal fix that will fix every single problem with your battery. It will not fix dead cell, it will not, not fix water damage, it will not fix a blown fuse. All it does is reset the error flags. But that is kind of amazing on its own. Now I reset a few batteries and it works 100% of the time with resetting the error flags. However, the success rate uh, with just the resetting the error flags was about 50% for me. Uh, but I will show you how this works. You just connect it and it needs USB-C power. No, it can actually draw power from the battery if it has enough voltage. That hasn't worked for me before. Can probably connect it. I guess these are the power lines and these are the communication ones. So maybe you don't need USB-C always. But it's good to have handy. And then there are four buttons. These are up and down. And these are not left and right. They are enter and back. So if you want to go into show data, press enter. And here you can see the individual cell voltages, the current temperature of the cell and the board, and the volt of the pack. We can say select show statistics. And here we have the model number, number of cycles, the status and serial number. And then to your most interesting part, reset error flags. You press enter, go to the side or you press any of these buttons really to switch position and then press enter success and it's been success on all the batteries I've tried and that also removed that annoying blinking light so let's try it on this battery I have replaced two of the cells and got this error a little Frankenstein here little Frankie Frankie boy we are up for some testing and you can connect it nude if you don't care about breaking it Cell voltages is decent at least. Here we have status 15. It might be the number of error flags. Now it's success. Let's go back and check status. Now status is zero. So zero might be working state, zero error flags or something like that. So do you think the red light is gone? Yeah, do you think my Frankenstein battery wants to take a charge? Let's try. No, something is still wrong with my Frankie. Uh, so it doesn't fix everything, but if your battery seems to be in otherwise good condition, it's a very good idea to try. The second most common thing I notice with this battery, except for dead cell or crushed shells, would be these fuses, which are very hard to come by. Very hard. I finally got a supplier willing to sell me those. Those fuses, you need two of them. There are two of them in parallel. They are 20 euros each with shipping. I'm not buying that. <laughs> I'm not buying that. Check that we had connection up to the fuses. Yes, and are the fuses broken? No, the fuses are fine. You can also check the voltage on the terminals and it should read the same as on the battery terminals. 16.28, 16.28. So there is something else wrong with this, but I can keep changing BMS until it works or changing the cells. But now I have a way of resetting it. I didn't have that before, so all of my Makita stuff were basically crap. Now I actually have a tool to reset them after I replace the cells and that is purely fantastic.